Hi guys, welcome back. Hi guys, long time no see. I've missed you guys so much. Um, if you haven't been following me for a while or you don't follow me on Instagram, um, we, it's been a bit, it's been a bit since we've seen each other. The last video I posted was like my at last official video I posted was my Christmas gift guide. Um, so it's been a little bit since we've seen each other, but if you have been following me on Instagram, uh, you wouldn't know, but I got COVID and then my husband got COVID and then our girls got COVID. It's just been constant lately, which I know for so many of us it has been. Um, so there's been lots and lots of quarantining and just plans going completely out the window. So um, I haven't been able to film, obviously, like I would have wanted to, um, but I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. I tried to film my uh, my what I got what I got for Christmas, um, my Christmas gifts. I had a lot of you guys asking about that, but it was just so. It's been oh, too long. I feel like, and I was it was all over the place. I was super like just not ready to start filming again, and so I'm just saying goodbye to that. Adios, we're just gonna start back um, as a new year and almost a new month. So if you couldn't tell, this video is gonna be what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. Um, so hello, if you've never seen me before, my name is Sarah and I make lots of gift guides throughout the year. I also have a bunch of other stuff on my channel. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and if you've never seen me before, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she just turned seven and my youngest is Eleanor and she will be five in March. So I have a little bit of a little bit of stuff here um, for them. I definitely feel like this Valentine's Day is a little bit more mild than my past Valentine's. We just don't need stuff. They just don't need anything. And I just don't want to buy stuff just to buy stuff. But I feel like I do have a couple of good ideas that I'm excited to share with you. Um, a lot of really cute things that I know this is going to make them really happy and just kind of like help push us forward through the winter and just have some activities for them to do and enjoy. And so without further ado, let's just get into it. Okay, we're going to start with Eleanor. Please excuse the craziness that's going on with my outfit. We're going to start with Eleanor. Um, my batteries are not holding charge for the life of me. So if we, it's just a lot of cuts and backs and you know, we're just, we're working through. We're trying to get back in a sink of things, having technical difficulties, but we'll get back there. Okay, so we're gonna start with Eleanor. First things first, my girls are still obsessed with Beanie Boos. I get them for them just about every holiday now. Um, even more lately, they've just been like, this is all they wanna play with and so, I picked up this one from Hobby Lobby. Normally I buy Beanie Boos straight from the Thai website. They're the cheapest on there, um, free shipping. I mean, they come super fast. I really like them there. But if I can find seasonal ones at Hobby Lobby, they're always still 40% off. So I got him, he's originally $6.99, um, but I got him for 40% off. Um, so he's totally worth it, but he's so cute. His name is Hunk. And um, so this one's for Eleanor and she's gonna be so excited. He's glittery and pink and so adorable. So this is Eleanor's Beanie Boo. Um, next, my girls are still really obsessed with makeup and beauty things and I feel like Valentine's Day is such a fun thing, time of year to kind of continue to um, add to their little collection. So I just picked up um, this little elf bite-sized face duo in pomegranate. These are like three bucks. Um, they don't really have any blush or highlighter. They've used all of theirs. And so I feel like this is perfect um, small little amount to just add to their collection. It's really inexpensive and it looks like something that, I mean, I, I have one. So it's something that I would use um, so it makes them feel a little bit more special. So this is Eleanor's. This, I think this will work perfect for her deeper skin tone. I think it's gonna look really, really pretty on her. So I picked up that one. And then, my girls love nail polish um, and we have a lot of fun doing like mother or daughter like mani manicures and pedicures together um, we put like a movie on or listen to some Taylor Swift or something and it's a really fun just time for us I really love doing it with them and so I'm just adding to our nail polish collection as well so I picked this one up for Eleanor this is just a really pretty creamy yellow color and it's in the color mellow yellow and then this one is just like a really fun super sparkly confetti um, topper and this is confetti craze so this those ones are for Eleanor um, adding a face mask in because 
why not? COVID's never ending. Um, and I want to make sure my girls are protected as much as I can um, because they do go to public school. Um, I wanted to get some K95s or just like better masks for them, but everything is sold out, especially kids' masks. They're incredibly expensive or they're completely sold out. So um, I went with this. I just thought it was really cute. It's a two-ply mask. Um, it has little donuts all over it. It's really cute. The girls have no problem with masks. They love them. It's like part of their outfit to accessorize. So I wasn't worried that this will be like irritating or anything. They don't have any problem with it. Um, these ones have really good reviews and it came in a pack of three, but I'm gonna give this one to Eleanor because she's my sweets, little girl. Um, I got each of them a hatch a new Hatchimals. They still love their little figures. Um, and this is Shimmer Babies. I want to say this is like a new season or a new line or whatever. I have no idea. But it was like $2.99 or something from Target. And I feel it's like a little perfect Valentine just to put in their little bag. I typically just reuse um, some Dollar Tree Valentine's bag that I've had for, I don't know, like five years now. I've had them for a really long time. So I just put everything in a bag and then they'll just each get their own bag. Um, so that's what I'll continue to do. And then I also picked up each girl one of these. These are from Zuru, the five surprises, and these are the mini fashion ones. So um, Eleanor got a ton of mini brands ones for Christmas and freaking loved them. And But both of these have just seen, or both of my girls have just seen the mini fashion ones being released. And so they were really excited for one of these. I don't know, this was like $9.99 maybe. It's probably not worth it. Maybe it was $10.99, who really knows? But they were really excited about it, so I decided to each get one of these, and now they're completely sold out, and I've had a hard time finding them since. So hopefully they'll be worth it, and they'll be really excited. So I got each of them one of those. And then um, for a little, like, outfit, because I always do outfit. My mom used to always do it. Um, I found a new Leo for Eleanor. I just thought this was so pretty. It's just, like, springy and metallic and beautiful the back has these cool cutouts in it it was super cool this was from cat and jack actually and it was on clearance at target for 1260 so i picked this up i thought it was just so pretty and just fun to add to their leo collection um and i think this is gonna look beautiful on eleanor so this is her cute little outfit or little clothing item and then we have been playing a ton of games together lots of board games and card games and the girls have loved it and it's been so fun i mean we waited this long which is crazy for quarantine and covid to finally really get into like board games but it's been such a fun time with them so i got some more card games i got this huge pack um off of amazon this is from hoyle and it's a six in one fun pack um and so they have memory crazy eights my girls have loved old maid go fish slapjack and matching and this is ages three plus two more two or more players i just thought that these were such a fun like thing to all come together they've been obsessed with playing games especially card games they've had the most fun with those and so i feel like this is like a perfect pack to get all of them started um oh this was game of the year award for 2017 so anyway it's really cute illustrations i really liked it and i just thought this was just fun to add to our collection it didn't take up a lot of room so this one is for eleanor but technically everyone's gonna share it use it and have fun with it and then um random these are kind of like random things <laughs> that I got the girls, but I got this pack of hair um, extension braid things, and it came in a pack of six, so I'm just going to divvy them up, and but I'll show you kind of what they look like, but they're just like little braids, and they have little hair elastics on one end, and there's like four braids on them, um, and these ha this one's like red at the tips, and this has like green. I just thought these were fun. My girls are obsessed with accessorizing and just like learning to express themselves, and I just thought these were like a fun way to do so without actually having to dye their hair crazy colors like they want. Um, and so, I mean, I'm all for that, but they're they're young, <laughs> and their school has rules. So instead, we'll just accessorize with some faux, um, you know, faux fun extensions and cuteness. So these are super inexpensive off Amazon. Um, so like I said, I'm just gonna divvy them up, but they come in a bunch of different colors and I think they're gonna be fun. I don't think they're gonna probably last a whole heck of a long time, but hopefully at least through the rest of the school year, they'll be able to get some use out of them and have a good time. So that is that. And then 
Um, each girl got a body mist. Eleanor's is still coming in, but I'm gonna show you Olive's, um, and then I'll talk about it more later. But I got them each a body mist. They're still obsessed with, again, like perfumes. I like a lot of perfume, but they've been using like super synthetic, like artificial, like strawberry scents. And it's made me so like bleh because I'll like like practically bathe in it. It's so strong. It gives me a headache. So instead, I decided to get them at least a little bit nicer body sprays. So this one's for all of this is Ariana Grande Cloud. And then Eleanor's, it's something sweet and I can't think of what it is. But I got it, um, both of them, I think off Amazon. They're just a bit better body mist and I cannot think of what that is. It should be coming in any day now, but it's taken forever. But it's something sweet and pink and something she'll love. But all right, that is it for Eleanor. So let's move on to Olive and then we have like a little shared gift at the end. So Olive's um, Beanie Boo, I got from the Thai website because they didn't have this one at Hobby Lobby. And it's so gosh darn cute. This is one of the cutest Beanie Boos I've ever seen. Um, and it's also kind of like a different posture than a lot of the Beanie Boos have. This one was from Thai website, like I said, and it's um, her name is Mai. And she's just so gosh darn cute. Olive is going to love her. She's super sparkly and glittery. She's adorable. So that's her Beanie Boo. And then, like I said, um, she also has an elf little bite-sized face duo. Hers is in guava, um, which is a little bit lighter than Eleanor's, but I think will look really pretty on her as well. And then she also has two nail polishes and um, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, and this is in red carpet, and it's this really pretty like burgundy red with like pink glitters in it. And then I got this just for a fun topper, and it's a rock star pink, and it's lots of blues and reds and purple. All right, camera died. All right, so for her mask, um, I have, I'm giving her this really cute heart tie-dye one. This is totally up her alley, super cute and fun. And then um, she is also getting a Shimmer Babies Hatchimal and a mini fashions. These have like purses and like pretend makeup and stuff like that that's like perfect for Barbies and Rainbow Highs and all that stuff. So it's actually, I feel like, useful things hopefully they actually like them and it's not the exact same things um but we'll try and see i don't know it may not have been worth it we'll see um her cute little clothing item i got at target and i want one for me these are from the art class line and it is so cute it's this cute mesh like cloud shirt with this little cami underneath it it is so gosh darn cute and so pretty i love it they also have like a really fun green one um, but this one just fit all of way more and so this was like only 14 dollars um i just thought it was so pretty i want one so bad i think they're so cute so i got her that i think she's gonna love that and then like i said we're gonna divvy up the fun little hairs I think they're fun and a lot of these are like dark like their hair so I feel like some of them will blend in and then some of them will be really fun just like to stand out and create a lot of like pizzazz but like I said I think these were only like five or so dollars they were super inexpensive and they have like a nice elastic and they're nice I think they're cute and I think they'll be fun for them so I don't know kind of something different to try out um, and then she's gonna get the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume Body Mist Spray. Um, I think this was like under $10. It smells nice. It's a pretty generic scent, but it's not bad. It's like soft and sweet and subtle, which I'm looking for the subtlety. Less, less about the artificial strawberry, more subtle. So obviously she's seven and my youngest is about to be five they don't need body spray i don't think they smell or they need it but it's just something fun for them like i said like i do a lot of makeup i like to express myself um and i want to teach them that i think it's fun and for them to be their own little selves and to enjoy little simple things that make them happy so by all means for me i think body spray is not that big of a deal but i know a lot of people have different opinions and so it's up to you what you guys want to get your little ones but i think that's fun um okay so for ollie's little game um i got this set of charades for kids by pressman this is another thing that was on amazon for just a couple of bucks 
um i just think this will be really fun we haven't done charades before but i can see them both like really really loving this it's three more players ages four and up they're supposed to be ones for um they have like colorful pictures on them so they're not just words so if you have little uh little ones in your family that can't quite read yet these are perfect for them to be able just at least see the picture and then try to act it out so i think this will just be really fun they have like a timer in here a dice and the whole rule book and everything like that but there's 150 charade cards with 450 charades so um lots of different ones to choose from and try out and i just think it'll be fun they had like a whole bigger set that's a bit more complicated but at least to get like used to the idea of what charades is i feel like this is a good option and like i said it was really inexpensive so there's that and then is that it I feel like I just like went through that so quickly, quicker than any of my other stuff that I normally do. Um, okay, so as far as candy goes, we still have so much stuff again from the holidays. My mom always gives so much candy, so I'm not worried about it. I know they'll get, end up getting candy at school with their Valentine's that they pass out. So I just got this bag of Harbo Sweet and Sour Hearts so that they're just gonna share. It's like a share size bag um, and it's resealable. So we're, I'm just gonna put that kind of in the middle and they can just share these together. And then kind of a mutual gift, um, I got them a thing of kinetic sand. So this is kinetic sand scents. So these smell like strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla, and they can create like little ice cream cones and sundaes. Um, this is normally like 20 or so dollars, but this was on sale on walmart.com for $9. So I thought this would be really fun, especially to kind of like push through the winter blues and get excited for summer. So this is gonna kind of sit in between the middle of their gift bags, um, and they're both gonna share it. But I did get them each their own bag of kinetic sand so i got this one which is watermelon i don't know why that took me so long to register um but this is a watermelon scented and then i have like a vanilla cupcake scented one so they go perfectly with the ice cream sundae ones um and i think it'll just be really fun kinetic sand is something that we really enjoy and it's just fun for them to use both of my girls really love sensory experiences and activities so i felt like that's like a really good um thing to kind of push through the dead of winter when you're stuck inside and want to have something fun to do so that is it that is all i got my girls for valentine's day this year i know that for some of you this is going to seem ridiculous and like way too much and for some of you this is going to be like nothing compared to my normal videos but like i said i didn't feel like my girls needed a bunch of stuff this year um and i just wanted them to have like some fun things to tie them over until we can be outside more and play and enjoy the pool and their bikes um, but also just some fun little you know little things to bring them some love and happiness like their little beanie boos um but I will try to make sure I link everything below for you guys if you want to shop the links. Um, keep an eye out because I will be doing a try on haul for some fun Valentine's Day outfits that I picked up. Um, so if you are looking for some inspiration there, keep an eye out for that. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I know this video is kind of all over the place too because of my gosh darn camera batteries. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. And it would mean the world to me if you stuck around and subscribed and followed my other social media platforms and i'm so thankful for you guys i'm so thankful to be back thank you for sticking alongside me and i hope you enjoy this video i'll see you guys really soon bye guys